while we learn about the opposition on the pitch, Wiser learns how to heat my home. Sam, just a quick reflection on last weekend and the disappointment of Baron out of Europe. Just how did the players sum it up? Yeah, I think we had a chat on uh, Tuesday morning about sort of how we felt about it and the me most of the messages were just sort of like, let's crack off into the Premiership now because we can dwell on the European stuff but there's not much point now because it's sort of been and gone. Obviously, immediately after the game, like, the lads were absolutely gutted as you could probably imagine but yeah, sort of message going into the week was just crack on to the Premiership. We've got now a bit of time in between the games so it should give us some good prep into those games as well. The good thing about sport is you don't have long to wallow in, in defeats like that and um, it's going to come thick and fast at you this weekend with Saracens. Yeah, exactly. That is the beauty of it. Um, and also it's probably a good thing that we're playing a team like Saracens. Like, emotionally in the past we get quite off for games like that. So, yeah, I think this weekend should be a good game. What do you expect then? From them, good, kick, good kicking game, physicality and defence, um, which means for us we need to be good well drilled and our kick battle stuff and then also it will give us a lot of opportunities to attack so hopefully hopefully we can get up that ball and do something with it this weekend as players and as, as coaches you've all been talking the same you can't afford to slip up and it's with only three games to go you really can't can you no it's do or die isn't it really at the moment so I think players know that as well and I think we've seen a shift in the training weeks sort of as we've moved on in the seasons like at the moment it's, it's bang on at the moment um attitude wise like what we're doing and yeah I think lads are enjoying training at the moment as well which is always good to see For you personally you really start this second half of the season you've really broken through and, and made that nine shirt your own are you proud of yourself and are you making the most of the opportunity? Yeah trying to make the most of the opportunity I haven't really sort of reflected on it because it just comes quite thick and fast sort of it's quite hard to reflect on things when it's just sort of like seasons like game after game so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm I'm really happy to be wearing the number nine shirt of the Exeter Chiefs. So yeah, and you've got plenty of competition. Your brother leading the way there, and, and Stu and, and Sam and people like that. It's it means you can't rest on your laurels. No, the competition is brilliant, and the best thing about the group as a whole is that they're constantly talking to you about how you can be better on the weekend and stuff like that. So Jack with kicking game, Sammy and she about game understanding, and then Stu obviously brings that attacking presence. So like the whole group adds quite a lot to each other's games and so we're not like a group that will just like won't talk to each other and be position haters like everything we do is sort of to help each other which is so so nice and especially being quite a young lad could have been quite intimidating coming into a group with such experience but yeah they've been all so so nice and so supportive you speak about experience though. you're gleaning that all the time though. that's invaluable for you as a player and your development yeah exactly getting getting game time on the pitch and sort of learning from your mistakes which obviously I'm making quite a lot at the moment being young but trying to learn and not trying to repeat those mistakes is key and it's been a key message going forward just keep learning and hopefully you'll grow as a player Does Dad give you a few words of advice at times? You know because it can be tough yeah. isn't it? You're, like you say you're a youngster you're still coming through uh, Yeah he has done in the past and I think he knows when to because we get, we get a lot of information around the club which is brilliant so I think he knows that sort of when I see him it's more like emotional support not in the sense that you cry but just like just being your dad really he doesn't really like to talk too much rugby he's just sort of cracking on with other things about life and uh, as I said three games to go all to do now isn't it you, you really got to go for it uh, we saw Jack a minute ago he was saying the same it's it's just literally you've got to fight like dogs you've got to get out there and, and give everything yeah which is almost the best possible outcome isn't it because then you've got no, no if no but so maybe you have to go after everything otherwise you'll fall short of the business end of the season which is where all the boys want to be and where we have been in the past so I think the expectation for us is that you train hard you play hard and then we get to the final top four and that's sort of where we have been and having had that experience and having been around the, the top four in the past that experience you know what drives you to get to that You that's the standard you've got to set yourself yeah exactly probably being more on the, the non-23 side of it I know what the team looks like when they're training and they're playing their best so it's about trying to be a part of replicating that sort of training environment and also playing in a team that drive, looks like that as well.